What is going on guys DBG here and it is the first of the month So you guys know what that means that means we are going to be getting on with our tier list and we are obviously going to be starting off with the best point guard tier list so if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe to 232,000 by the end of the week and 235k by the end of March. If you guys could do that, would be greatly, greatly appreciated because, again, the sport's been crazy on the channel and I'm honestly working harder than I ever have the last few weeks. So, huge, huge thank you for everyone for the continued support. But anyway, now we're going to get on to it. So, these are the players we have. If I forgot your favorite point guard, I apologize. Um... It's either that I just don't think the card is very good or I'm sometimes just not 100% up to date with these lists and I do end up forgetting the odd player. But anyway, we're going to start off with Brad Davis. I think Brad Davis is a solid B tier. He's good, like half clamps. He's got gold range. Um, very, very quick release. Decent dunk. Defense is really good. So like the card's got a lot of good stuff going for him. Like he really does like... Like a lot of people are not that high on the card because they didn't really grind for, didn't grind from, and it's one of those cards where it's like, I say, I said the same thing about Marion, where it's like, Marion's really good, but also if you didn't grind for Marion, you shouldn't feel like you missed out on anything. Like there shouldn't be any like fear of missing out on anything with a card like that, but at the same time, the card's really good. If you get where I'm coming from. So yeah, that is basically it with Brad Davis. Just bang smack in the middle. It's probably like upper C, lower B. It's probably where he's gonna be. Then we got Jack. And I don't think Jared Jack, you can say, is objectively better. Than... Like, he's definitely better value because he's, like, so, so cheap. He is so, so cheap. Um, But I don't think he's, again, I don't think he's better per se. It's just he's a lot more attainable than Brad Davis. But, again, Jared Jack's got a super fast release. He's also a good shooter. Um, moderately good dunker, decent defender, so definitely B tier. Smush A tier. Smush is so good, man. Smush is so good. It doesn't matter what gen it's on, Smush Parker with a Trey Burke base, Curry slide, as well as good length. Man, he's a beast. Smush Parker is incredible. Massive, massive fan of Smush Parker. Then we have got Baron Davis. B tier as well. I do think Smush Parker is better than Baron Davis. So not B tier, A tier. Oh, Baron Davis, he's better than the guys on B tier. But he's also not as good as Smush. And I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm if I'm happy with Baron Davis' position or not. Let's um let's put him Let's put him B tier. And let's move these guys down to C tier. That might work better. Because I do not believe he's good as Smush Parker. There's just something about Baron Davis I don't like. I don't know what it is. Simmons, A. He's a god. But. In the wrong hands. Like Simmons. if Simmons is either like a C tier or an S tier player. It all depends on your play style. And because of that. I can't justify putting him in S tier. Because there's a lot of guys he will be terrible for. Um, and I'm included in that list of guys. I just hate using Simmons, but at the same time, he is a cheese ball and he's very, very good. So, he's very, very good at what he does. So he's A tier. Sura, A tier. Sura is definitely an upgrade over um, Baron Davis. Like, anyone who says otherwise, oh, like, there's, there's, they're night and day. Like, they are not, there's night and day difference between those two guys. Bob Sura should have been on my top 10 point guards. Completely forgot to put the guy on it. Sura is like... In my opinion, he's a worse release, but better, like Smush Parker. Like Bob Sura, Smush Parker, and um, Flip Murray are really, really similar cards. I think most people would probably take Smush as number one. For me, it's probably, I probably have Smush number three. I say not, um, most people have Flip number one. For me, Smush is probably not. Smush is probably number two. I think I would take Murray at number one. And. Like Bob Sura is number three for me, but again, a lot of people think so. Like those three guys, people in all, in all different orders. Then we got Chauncey, worthless. Hey, you are a scrub. You are a bona fide scrub. You suck. You absolutely suck, Chauncey Phillips. This card was awful when he came out. He's still awful to this day. He is awful in this game. 
Chris Paul. Have I set a bad precedent piece? He's not as good as these two guys. I'm going to put him low C for now, but he could go down to D. Chris Paul was like the best budget card in the game when he came out. Like he was. There's no question about it. He was the best budget card in the game when he came out. But when he came out, it was two months ago. And we've gotten so many good budget cards since. Like the amount of good budget cards we've gotten, especially good budget point cards we've gotten, is crazy since then. Kobe White, A tier. Kobe White's fantastic. Like, if you haven't used Kobe White, he's like a slightly downgraded version of Opal Jamal Murray. Now, I mean slightly. I don't mean like there's a major difference between Opal Jamal Murray and uh, Kobe White. They're clones, like. They've got all the same sigs, all the same animations. And for me, it's just an absolutely, like, again, Curry Sly Go release. Next gen, he's a god. He's good on current gen. He's like top tier. He might be S tier on next gen. But yeah, Kobe White in here in a tier. Then we have got Colin Sexton. Lower A. Lower A for Colin Sexton. A good, a really good card. Really, really good card here for Sexton. It's just, I don't believe that Colin Sexton is as good as a lot of the other guys. But at the same time, like, you can make an argument Colin Sexton's better than Smudge Parker. You can make an argument he's better than Bob Sura. So, like, I gotta put him in A tier. He's definitely better than Byron Davis. Dame, A as well. Like, we've gone through a lot of our A tier players, so I think you're seeing a lot of them here. And trust me, we'll have a lot more, like, lower tier guys than these. Um, it's just a lot of these guys are quite similar standards. I, I can't justify putting Dame a tier lower, even though of, of all these cards, Dame's the one I... Would like I like the least, even though most people would say Dame's high. The Iron Fox badge, the Iron Fox is C. He was quality, he was quality for his time. It's just a lot of better guys have come out since, and yeah, I think C is probably a probably a fair spot to put this guy on the list. So he is in here in C tier, and we got Darren Williams C. Like, he's still all right. Like he's still not awful. His release is still pretty good. His dribbling's pretty good. And he's got a 6'10 wingspan. So, yeah, I don't think you can really call the guy awful. I don't think he's great by any means. Like, I don't think this card right here is is going to win any contests for best point guard anymore. Even though he probably was top two when he came out. But he's solid. So then we have got, I'm going to fill in some of the lower players because we're about eight minutes in. It's probably a third of the way through. So let's fill in some of the bombs. Um, lowest tier, worthless tier. Gilbert. Um, I'm sorry, Mo Williams. I like Mo Williams. He's got to be in this tier. Because he's like worse Campbell Walker. Um, who else is in this really, really low tier? I'm going to have to start moving people down to down tiers. A lot of good cards left. There's a lot of good cards to go. Yeah, so we got Derek Rose B tier. I like the Rose. Again, I don't like his release, but he has um He has a lot of good like he has a lot of good stuff. Heroes can dunk. If you like his release, you like his release, obviously. Um, I just personally don't. I know a lot of people do, so each their own, I guess, but um, he's objectively not a bad card, so yeah, he's um, coming in here in B tier. Then we got downtown Freddie Brown B tier. He'd be like lower A over B. He's not bad. I downtown Freddie Brown is definitely, definitely a very average card, but he's not A tier. Get it in Curry, he's like a worse version of Kyrie. He's like Sexton without dunking. That's probably the best way I can describe him. Get it, he's got half range, half clumps. He's awful on next gen. So um yeah, that is where that is what I am going to do. I'm gonna have the those guys in these positions. So then we got Freddy, Fred Van Vliet, C. He's not as good as the guys in the tier above. He's not awful. Again, he's somewhat usable. If you're a Fred Van Vliet fan, you can obviously use the guy. 
he's it's not like he's an uh, this absolutely absolutely unusable player in game but i mean i don't think he's very good so i'm gonna put him in here at b tier or sorry at c tier gary payton I'm gonna say S because he's definitely better than these guys at A, but he will be. I think he'll be on the lower end of S. Peyton's good. I like Peyton. Um, Peyton, not so much on next gen, but again, he's like he's better than Wade on next gen, and he's debatable, debatably better on current gen. So I think like overall, he's a better card than Wade. So S tier. Bonga A, badged Bonga. I'm a massive fan. But again, it's one of those ones where it's like I love Bonga's release. It's why like I think Jokic is very comparable to Dirk. Like, I might take Jokic over Dirk because I love that release. And I know most people hate it. I think it's one of those releases that... I think most releases are good on next gen. Um, and I think it's one of those ones that on current gen is really good meter on, but really bad meter off. And I play meter on a current gen, so that's why I like that release so much. I think Bong is a god on both gens. I am very, very high on that card, which is why he's an A tier. He's not going to S tier, but he's A. Isaiah Thomas, wherever Fred Van Vliet is... Um, yeah, Chris, actually, you know what? Some guy's moving down. I cannot. You go down, you go down. I cannot, with a, in good conscience, put those guys in the same tier as Isaiah Thomas, who's not a bad card. I'm Fred Van Vliet. But I think Jared Jack is, Jared Jack's on the same level. Jared Jack's on the same level as those guys, and so is Brad Davis with that half clamps. And uh, gold range with a quick release. So, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of a little more happy with that. Jamal Murray, S tier. Um, if we're talking next gen, I mean, it's debatable whether he's S or A tier. So if we're talking current gen, it's debatable whether he's S or A. If we're talking next gen, there's no debate he's S tier. So for that reason, he's uh, he's like tier 1.5 on current gen and tier 1 on uh, next gen. So for that reason, S tier. Jameer Nelson, C. I don't like him. I don't like him very much. Like, he's not going to give you anything more than Jared Jack is going to give you in-game. Like, you can argue he's better than Isaiah Thomas, but he's, he's not. He's no better than Fred Van Vliet. I get it. He can curry. That's literally the only thing he does well. I don't like his release. His J.R. Smith release, which I'm, I'm indifferent on. I like it on... It's like I don't like it on J.R. that much. I like it on Kevin Porter Jr. Um, I kind of like it on Felipe Lopez. I'm not 100% sold on that release, but... Yeah, he's going to see tier. Jason Kidd, D tier. The guy can't play offense. Like, I'm sorry. The guy can play defense. He can play defense, but he cannot play offense. Like, there is no scenario where I'm taking a Jason Kidd over a Brad Davis. No one should be ever taking a Jason Kidd over a Brad Davis. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. There's no... There is no way. Like, I think there was one of... I can't remember. There was a comp player who used to say Jason Kidd was the best point guard in the game. Because he was so bad, like, it basically forced him to take good shots because he was so bad. Like, that's the only time I've ever heard anyone using Jason Kidd in any capacity and enjoying him. Because he forces you to take good shots because he's so bad. His release is broken. It is beyond broken. It's awful. Jeremy Lin. Now, this might be the toughest person to place. He's not going B tier. I'm just putting him in here while I think. Do I put him in A or do I put him in S? I think he's better than all the guys in A. He's going S tier. Jeremy Lin is a card that I'm a big, big fan of. I'm a big fan. Did I forget Donald? Yeah, Donald's Donald's better than Lin. Donald's S tier as well. I'm so I'm a massive fan of that Donald card. Like some people aren't that high on that Donald card. I think he's one of the best. Like I think Donald's better than Peyton and Wade. Like the guy's got a long wingspan. He's he's got as much length as Gary Payton. He's got all the badges you need. His dunking is insane. His shooting is streets ahead of a Gary Payton. And he can curry. Like, for me, Don O is definitely better than Gary Payton. But um, I know there are some people that, that aren't the biggest fan of that card, but yeah, he's no-brainer S here for me. Stockton B. Stockton's good. But, like, I don't think he's objectively better than Colin Sexton. Like he kind of reminds me, he reminds me a little bit of Colin Sexton, I guess. But um, I don't think you can say he's objectively better than him. But I think you can argue that Colin Sexton's objectively better than John Stockton because he can curry and dunking is similar. They're both the same height. They're both very undersized. Like Stockton's more than usable. Like again, anyone, anyone above D tier you can use in a limited game. 
Like, I could rock and rock uh, Chris Paul, the Aaron Fox badge, and Jason Kidd in Unlimited and be fine. I could probably run Gilbert Arenas in Unlimited and be fine. Like, I have run Mo Williams recently on Unlimited and been fine. Like, this is the best of the best. Most of these guys are somewhat usable in game. Maybe not against the God Squads, but against most people, they might be usable. John Wall. D. He only comes with like silver clamps. No, if if we've got if we've is he better than Chris Paul? Yeah, I'm gonna give D tier. I'm gonna give John Wall D tier. I'm not a, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan at all. Kemba Walker, I'm sorry, he's he's worthless. Actually, no, Kemba's Kemba's chicken. Kemba's chicken. He's going to tier. He's basically just a way better version of the John Wall card. Kemba's. Kemba's nice. Kemba is really, really nice. Then we got Killian Hayes. I don't know what Killian Hayes. Like, my, my choice for him is, does he go B tier or does he go C tier? Like he's one of these two tiers. And it's like, off rip, I think he's C, but quick Killian Hayes a quick first step is, an, is a good card. A Killian Hayes a quick first step really is a good card. So I think I'm gonna put Killian Hayes in B tier real quick for a step. His release, his release on next gen is incredible. Like I legitimately am going out and winning games on next gen just with Killian Hayes playing him in um, TT offline or TT online. He's insane. Kyrie Irving A tier. He's like a better version of Fred Brown. Probably the best way I can describe him is like he's better, Fred Brown, and not like a little bit better, like a hundred times better, Fred Brown. So, actually, no, he's not a hundred times better, Fred Brown. He's just Fred Brown, but better at everything. He's not, he's a little bit better at everything, but he feels a lot better in game. I think maybe it's Kyrie's dribble style, but Fred Brown's good. Kyrie's just basically a clone and better. Lonzo S. Like, as much as I don't, like, as much as I'm not the biggest fan of Alonzo, he's, like, objectively great. Like, there's no, there's no way you can question how good Alonzo Ball is in 2K. You really can't. Like, he is, without that top tier. Like, there's a reason why Ty's going to probably start him in 250. He might start him, he might start Luca. The reason why he's starting him is Jomar. Alonzo's a beast. Luca, see, Luca's all right. Like he's he's just that little. Twenty nine's fine, but Luca release on next gen is not great. He's also got a decent, decent three ball range. He can get clamps. You know, he's six seven. It's it's harsh. It it would have been harsh to put him in in C. Let's put him in B. Like, he was kind of bad value for what he is, but, I mean, as far as tall point guards go, he's a pretty good one. And his shooting is very nice with that base 27, 29. Then we got Luka, the most obvious S-tier player in this entire list. Luka Doncic is a god. He is an absolute god in-game. He is one of the best point guards you can get in my team, if not the best. Especially primary point guard. He's hard not in that conversation. He dunks it. He's got showtime. And most importantly, he's got pink eyes. Like, if you've got that, if you've got the incredible card art, I'm automatically putting you a tier higher. And he's already S tier, so there's obviously no way you can get higher than S tier. So he is. If there was an S plus tier just for the card art, Luka Doncic would be in the S plus tier because card art does play. For me, card art plays a factor. I don't know about you guys. Does card art play a factor? It's the reason why I'm going so hard for Pat Bev because I think he might have the best card art in the game. And we got Magic, Cheese Ball, A tier. I mean, post post hooking with Magic is a, it's a pretty OP tactic on current gen. And Magic's pretty decent on next gen. Like a lot of people probably don't like to talk about the post hooking on current gen, but it really is OP. Like I was playing a lot of current gen area today. My God, I was I was having a bad time. 
But like I was grinding on limited on current gen because I was trying to get quicker rage quits. And I beat a dude by 50 points post talking with Austin Crozier. The whole game. Like literally, I think he had, I can't remember who he had at the four. But he had someone not, he had someone decent at the four. It was like Gallinari or something. And I post hooked him with Austin Crozier for four quarters and beat the dude by 50 because Cro Crozier had like 60 points on post hooks. And like Crozier's not even as good in the post as a Magic Johnson. It's just ridiculous. Then we got Fultz C tier. Like I like Fultz. I think he was great for his time as far as budget players went. I don't think he offers as much as like a kid. As far as... I don't think he offers as much as Killian Hayes. I think Killian Hayes is just objectively a better player. So, for that reason, I'm going to put Crozier down here in... I'm going to put Crozier down here in... Say not Crozier. I'm going to put um, Fultz down here in C tier. I don't know why I've... I was talking about post-hooking and Austin Crozier and I started calling him Markel Fultz Austin Crozier. That's... That's just me for... Uh, it's just forgetful Mick at this stage. Like... If you guys don't know, I'm currently like grinding left-handed, trying to get finish out the Patrick Beverly right now, um, as I'm doing this tier list. And I just lost the, my train of thought. Multitask Mick is probably a better better way of describing it. Mark Price, you're a you're a trash can, but you're not you're not unusable. Like I can't I can't put like Mark Price down here and worthless tier. He's not worthless. He's a garbage, he's an absolute trash can. But I can't put him worthless tier. I cannot do that. Oscar Robertson. A. The more I use the card, the more I like the card. On next gen, he is a demon. He comes with blinders, lads. He also has the pro three behind the back, which is so important in next gen. There's no order go behind the backs apart from pro one. So he is a beast on next gen. Current gen, I mean, some people like him, some don't. I like him. Well, I understand that he down. His release is a bit weird, but he is most definitely, most definitely going into A tier. Then we got Patrick Beverly. C tier as a player, but because of his card art, he gets an extra tier added to him. And don't get me wrong, he's not a B tier player. He's a C tier player. But I'm sorry, the card art. Look at the card art. Like, it's the only reason I'm going for him. It is the only reason I am going for this card. Is because of his card art. There is no other reason why I'm going from my main account. But you better believe, you better believe his card art puts him up a tier. He's B tier. Penny Hardaway. Oh, you're a bum. You get in the word list there. You are literally like, Re imagine Reggie Theus, but they made him worse at literally everything. That's what you're getting with Penny Hardaway. It's mad, like. He's just Reggie Theus, but worse at every single thing. I think he's not as good a shooter as Reggie Theus. He's not as good a rebounder as Reggie Theus. He's not as fast as Reggie Theus. He doesn't have range like Reggie Theus. But, and they're clones. They're the same height, same wingspan, same animations. He just sucks. Rafer, D. He's no better than Chris Paul. I mean, nah, he's no better than Chris Paul. Reggie Theus, B tier. Reggie Theus, 6'7". I mean, you can make an argument depending on your play style that the guy's A tier. Especially if you are on current gen where you can just post hook people into a... You can post hook and post spin other point guards into oblivion like. Because his post hook and post spin are really decent for a point guard. Um, but yeah, I think B tier is probably safest because he's not a good shooter at all. And not being able to shoot is a bit of a problem. I know some people like to say, oh, you can get away without shooting. To an extent, like to an extent, you can get away without shooting, but like hit pro or base hand just isn't good enough. It's just simply not good enough to put him above B tier. Westbrook, I mean, is he B or is he he's B? He's he's an unbelievable dunker. Like a lot of people don't like him, and I do agree. Smush Parker is objectively better than him, but like. Westbrook B tier, I think. I think that's probably the most fair place that I can put Russ. Like, he's decent. Good. Good shooter, but he's a bad release. Um, really, really fast. And just an all-around, just solid, solid point guard. 
not bad for any free squads, but like, even on, on next gen, I prefer Brad Davis. Steph Curry, the offline GOAT. I'm tempted to put Steph Curry in, uh, in, S, in A tier. I'm really tempted to put Steph Curry in A tier. Because, if you guys don't know, Steph Curry can be mo can be the most dangerous offensive point guard in this game in the right hands. And a lot of people that aren't very good have success with him as well, so. I can see where the love for Steph Curry comes from. I really can't. But I'm just... I think he's... In terms of his worth, he's objectively like B tier. But I really do like him, and I think... He's the best offline player in the game, so maybe A tier, but I'm going to put him B. Steve Francis, B. He's fine. He's like Russell. He's like a, probably a slightly better Russell Westbrook, I guess. He's fine. Not a bad card. Not a great card either. Steve Nash is A tier, without question. But I might move him down to B tier because of how bad his card out is. Actually, no, no, no. There's another Steve Nash. I should. I forgot to use. I should have used the other Steve Nash. Because there is another Steve Ash with accept Steve Nash that is a clone of this card with an acceptable card art, the Flash Glitch one. He's going A tier. But he would be moved down a tier because of how bad this card art is. And we got Beverly up a tier. We would have Nash down a tier, but Nash does have another Nash. I should have just used the other one. But yeah, Nash. Nash is supremely underrated. He really is. He's really like he's a, an objectively a hundred times better than Dame Lillard. He's better than Kyrie. He's better than Dame. He's better than... Like, Nash... Nash might be the best player in A tier right now. Nash is good. His release is fine. Like, his release is fine on both gens. A lot of people don't like it, but trust me, it's fine on both gens. Um, yeah, he's A tier. Terry Rogier, B or C. I mean, his release is really good. And he, but he is 6'1". I'll put him B. I'll put him B. Um, nah, nah, nah. He's no different than Freddy. I'm going to put him C tier. He's good, though. I do like him. I do like him. He's just very undersized. And then St Stockton's just a bit different. I don't know why Stockton's different. But he's just different for these 6-1 players. And obviously, Patrick Beverly should be in this tier. But he's only um, he's only in B tier for his card out. Tony Parker, B tier. Parker's all right. Like, when I was initially making this, I was like, oh, yeah. Initially thinking about it, I was like, oh, yeah. Surely Parker's like C or D. It's like... He's just not. Like, he's not the greatest card in the world. I mean, you can argue him down in B. Um, because I don't think he's got a staff. You know what? I'm, I'm putting him in C. I'll, I'll put him in C. He's, he's one of the higher end of C tier, but he's, he's bad. He's just really bad. Um, Tony Roten. He's not as good as... He's not as good as Fultz or Jared Jack. He was great for his time, though. Tony Rowan really was great for his time. Like, he was fast. He could shoot the three somewhat well. 79 rating. He could hit me as wide open. He, but he was dunking on everybody, and he was a 6'6 six, six point guard. But he's D tier. Wall for here. Defensive God. Release a little bit slow. But as always, I will always put him, compare him to Derrick Rose. And let's put Wall for Asia in B tier. His defense, he's like a way better Jason Kidd. He's like a way, yeah, a way better Jason Kidd. I think it's the right way to describe Wall Frazier. I like him. I know some people don't like him, but I've always liked this card. So, yeah, that is it, lads. That is the tier list. That is the first tier list of the month, the point guard tier list. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.